Good morning. It's Thursday, and for those of you following the Fly Ladies holiday planning, this is Erin Day. This is Grab and Go Day, if you've read the email this morning. If Thursday is your typical day to do errands, this is a great day to start picking up some of your holiday items and some of your holiday cooking and baking items that you've been writing down on your list on your planning day. If you start buying these things a little at a time, it really helps the budget and it also reduces your stress later so you don't have to have a mega shopping day later on in the season. So take a look at what you've been writing down in that holiday control journal and pick up a few things while you're out today. If you've not picked up those Christmas cards yet, I want you to do that. I'm going to spend five minutes today working on my Christmas cards and getting names written in them and start looking at my address list. I know a few people moved this year, so I need to make sure I've got their new address added to my holiday list so I can just print labels. I make it quick and easy when I do the holiday cards, but I try to spread it out over several weeks so it's not a whole lot on me. And our mission today in the house is going to be quick and easy. Let's work in the dining room. Wipe down the walls or windows. Do a 10 minute declutter mission. Right before this video, I was through with my morning routine and I had 15 extra minutes before the video. So I did a quick declutter mission already. And things look better and I'm happy that that's done and I don't have to think about that till later when I deal with my hotspots. The boys are working on their morning routine, and if you read the blog this morning, my 14-year-old was very productive yesterday doing some projects around the house, and that's where you start seeing the benefits of including your younger children now, even though it takes you longer to do something, including them in what you're doing will pay off in benefits later on when they're bigger. He touched up paint in the bathroom, he cleaned the bathroom floor, then he was sanding a side table, stained it, and put a finish coat on it. And I didn't do much except for a little bit of supervising to make sure he was okay. But that's one thing that I have learned over the years of including my little ones in any project I'm doing. Is even if they're just sitting there watching you and you hand them something to play with, they're observing and learning from you. So don't just put them off into another room if you've got a project to do unless it's something that's just completely unsafe for young children. And then you probably need to do that during nap time or when there's another adult at home. Good morning, Lynn and Joanne. Joanne, taking the air conditioner out of the bedroom window is a great one. I got up this morning and it was warm in North Carolina again. We've been having frost and then suddenly this morning it's back in the 50s and it's probably pushing 60 degrees, so I'm back to no sleeves. You can tell when the weather changes, the long sleeves come out, and if it warms up, then the no sleeves come out. But it's a gorgeous day out there, and I was just really pleasantly surprised with the warm weather. And I had my first run since my marathon, and it was a little bit slow, and it was a little bit painful, but it wasn't bad. So I've worked all week at just recovering, and it was time to get out there and move the legs a little bit and get some of my morning endorphins going. So it's been a fantastic day for me so far. And I want you to have a fantastic day. Now, you don't have to do errand day on Thursday. I'll tell you my errand day is Friday because that's what works for my schedule. But I want you to be prepared this week. I'm going to do my menu planning today. I'm going to work on my list for groceries, add my baking items, and look and see if there's a few gifts I can go ahead and pick up while I'm out. Stores are starting to do their sales. I know there's some coupons out there for some different things. So start looking at that just a little at a time. Tell me what your questions are today, and I'll be including those in the blog and in my newsletter next week. It always helps me guide my writing when you guys make comments and ask questions. And it's real easy to drop it down here below on the Facebook page. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can also put questions over there, and I'll see them there too. Or you can just email me at Tammy at TammyFox.com. And Monday's email, I've had a request to list out the week's activities for your zone missions a little bit higher in the newsletter. So I'm going to do that for those of you who like to see your week at a glance and see what different things we're going to do around our mission work. So have a great day. I'm going to have fun. I think we're roast, roasting pumpkin seeds next whenever I get off of this video. He's already cut a pumpkin this morning and got the seeds out, and they're ready to roast pumpkin seeds for our morning snack. 
So it sounds like we're off to a great start today. Let me know how you're doing. And I will talk to you guys in the morning.